Hey, this is Red Band coming to you live from the Road Famous Comedy Store main room for a brand new episode of Kill Tony. Give it up for Tony Hinchcliffe. Hello, everybody. We're here. Another episode of Kill Tony live from the Comedy Store. Welcome, Brian. Hey, Red Tony. Band. Good to be here. We're both wearing black hoodies. Good. Good to be here at the World Famous Comedy Store live on the Sunset Strip. Speaking of strip... The great Ryan J.E. Belt is here. Yes. Uh, this guy knows how to strip down a piece of paper and turn it into an amazing piece of art. He draws every single episode. He's drawing tonight's episode. All those prints are available at RyanJEBelt.com. Follow him on social media. He's also been doing auctions, things like that. Incredible stuff as of late. Every tour poster, every episode of the show, every guest that's ever been on, he's drawn it. RyanJEBelt.com, including the Kill Tony books. Couple Kill Tony shirts, some really cool stuff over there. RyanJEbelt.com. We're at the comedy store. Things are happening here. They're doing shows out the window, on the patio. Things are happening here. The momentum is once again rebuilding at the store. Excited for a big up and coming return here and other big things happening. But you know what? Before we start tonight's episode, let's get a word. You know, you love the show, and the only way to support us is by supporting our amazing sponsors. And here's a little bit more about tonight's incredible, lovely sponsors. Things are challenging these days. Seeing a doctor shouldn't be. That's why I use Plush Care. Plush Care provides primary and urgent health care through virtual appointments. And scheduling an appointment, even for the same day, is really easy. I just pick a slot that works for me and book online, so I don't waste time on hold or sitting in crowded waiting rooms. With my Plush Care membership, I can see my doctor from the comfort of my own home, even in my PJs. I can get diagnosed, treated, and even have a prescription sent to my local pharmacy if needed, all within minutes. And if I have questions before or after my visit, I can send unlimited messages to my care team anytime. Plus, Plush Care accepts most major insurance carriers and is available in all 50 states. And with how difficult things are, if you're feeling anxious, depressed, or stressed about what's going on in the world, and who isn't, Plush Care doctors are here to help, and help by discussing treatment options and providing prescriptions as needed. You know, where I live, it's really hard to get a doctor. Sometimes you have to wait almost a month just for something basic. It was so nice being able to just fill out a couple questions uh, with the Plush Care app, and it was really easy to sign up. It was really easy to schedule an appointment. And I felt very confident with the doctor that I was given. All Plush Care doctors graduated from one of the top 50 medical schools in the U.S. and are highly rated by their patients. That gives me peace of mind that I'm getting the highest quality health care. Plush Care makes it easy for me to get the excellent care I need when I need it. They can do the same for you. Start your membership today. Go to plushcare.com slash Tony to start your free 30-day trial. That's P-L-U-S-H-C-A-R-E dot com slash Tony for a free 30-day trial. You need to see a doctor? Do it online. Make it easy. Plushcare.com slash Tony. Hiring can be difficult. And if you're an employer, you probably experience hiring challenges from time to time, but right now you face even more challenges from rethinking your workplace safety to hiring employees for specialized roles. Matson Resources could relate. They needed to hire a seasoned senior Citrix administrator to provide IT support. Not an easy job to fill. So they turned to ZipRecruiter. ZipRecruiter's powerful matching technology finds people with the right skills and experience for your job. In fact, four out of five employers who post on ZipRecruiter get a quality candidate within the first day. That's how Matson Resources found Peter Alcantar Jr. Peter was laid off during COVID-19 and needed to find another IT job quickly to continue paying his mortgage and bills. He posted his resume on ZipRecruiter. ZipRecruiter identified him as a great match for the role at Madison Resources, and they interviewed and hired Peter in less than three weeks. Wow. ZipRecruiter helped Peter find the right job, and they helped Madison find the right person for a hard-to-fill role fast. And you can see how ZipRecruiter can help you hire. Try it now for free at ZipRecruiter.com slash KillTony. That's ZipRecruiter.com slash KillTony. ZipRecruiter, the smartest way to hire. And we're back live on KillTony. This is very, very exciting. 
I'm especially excited about tonight's show because we do have a guest. This young man's been on the show many times. This is truly, just like me, one of the top young rising comedians in the world. Multiple specials, multiple albums. He's a freak of nature, another comedian that I started with and I can't wait to hang out with here tonight on the show once again. It's the return of the great Jamar Neighbors, everybody. Yeah. Absolutely. One of my favorites on the planet, Jamar Neighbors. Hi, guys. Hello, Jamar. Thank you for having me back, Tony. Indeed. I'm glad you're back. You and I just had fun uh, the other day. We were performing in the window here at the comedy store to the people out on the patio. Packed patio. Mm -hmm. We did a little fucking duo. Yeah, we got it in real tough. We were like uh, Neil Brennan and Dave Chappelle at the same time if Neil Brennan was funny. Oh, I'm just kidding. I'm kidding, oh, Neil. Everybody knows you're that. hilarious. Everybody knows you. Yo, you everyone knows Neil wrote all the good stuff on that show. <laughs> oh, shit. Anyway, um, I'm glad you're here. Uh, we're going to have so much fun. What Hi, else? Red Band. Hi, how you doing? You guys were awesome the other night. Or- Whenever that was. Thank you, man. I like your <laughs> microphone, man. Oh, thanks, man. Yeah, it got dude. made for uh, me and Tony. Some My Little Pony shit, man. That's right. Yeah. That's, Fuck yeah. with that, dude. That's yeah, my <laughs> punk. <laughs> Indeed. Indeed. Uh, we're going to have fun tonight, Jamar. I'm sure you remember. It's been a little while, but you remember there's a band on this show? Right, 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 right. Every single episode, they commit to being different characters. We never know what they're going to be before the show. We never know what songs they're going to play. We don't ever know anything about them. Let's all find out what they are tonight, because they are the best damn band in the land. It's the Kill Tony Band. Jeremiah Watkins, Strollberg, Joel Jimenez, Jetski, Jesse Johnson, and Chroma Chris. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, this is interesting. Whoa, we know these guys. Oh, my goodness. They are Rastafarians. Oh, my God. This guy wow. just took a hit of a bowl out here. This is incredible. Wow. We have the rope snake guy. <laughs> very, very famous character in the show's past. How are you, rope snake guy? It's Skeeter from the island. Bra, bra, Catalina Island. Bra, bra. <laughs> You're from Catalina Island? Yeah, man. That's uh, normally we're very rich. Do you have rich parents? Yeah, man. What do they do? Uh, they own banks. Oh, wow. Okay. How'd you end up like this? They didn't give you a lot of attention as a kid? No. I appropriate other people's culture. Wow. <laughs> Very interesting. What'd you have for breakfast today? French toast crunch. <laughs> <laughs> beautiful. Beautiful. And uh, behind you, we have the former uh, leader of the NAACP. Um, Rachel Ra Dolezal. <laughs> bra, bra. <laughs> Rachel Dolezal. That's right. How are you, Rachel? No, nah, man. My name is Kelsey with an I. <laughs> wow. You don't even have a Ra Rastafarian accent at all. No, man. You're just... <laughs> <laughs> I'm just high as fuck. I love it. You're high, huh? How much weed did you smoke today? I don't even know, man. <laughs> I don't know numbers anymore. <laughs> Very exciting. And then clearly next to you, there is a white man wearing a Rastafarian hat with a wig attached. No, I also have an accent, man. <laughs> oh, wow. What's your name? Name's Rocco. <laughs> Why? Rocco from the streets, man. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, Rocco. And then here we have... Another beautiful girl. This is a beautiful, beautiful... What's your name, young lady? <laughs> the name's Ethan, man. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, Ethan. I'm yeah. sorry. And that hit I took, it's actually CBD, but don't tell anybody. I'm trying to be cool, man. Wow. What does CBD stand for? Can't be done. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Very good, Ethan. Can't uh, be done. <laughs> <laughs> I'm excited that the Rastafarians are here. We're going <laughs> to have that drum beat. <laughs> <It's> the <laughs> <laughs> the old Rastafarian rim shot tonight. I'm sure we're going to hear that a lot. I'm excited. Let's just uh, jump right into it. We have a bucket filled with comedians' names. Well, it's not really filled. I mean, let's face it. There is a limited. Gently put in. Very <laughs> limited <laughs> amount of entrance tonight. But before we go to the bucket, why don't we get things kick-started with an absolute icon here on Kill Tony, a guy that everybody knows, a guy that everybody loves, and also some people hate, but I love him, and I refuse to let the naysayers say that he shouldn't be part of the show any longer. I will always fight for what I believe in, and I fight for this man 
Ladies and gentlemen, it's known other than the Big Red Machine, the uh, Tennessee Strangler, the <laughs> King of the Koalas, the great William Montgomery. Jamar, Jamar, they call me the Tennessee Stranglers. First and foremost, for all the fucking haters out there, get a load of the set. This is probably going to be one of my best sets. Um, not sure if you all saw this, but there was an international mixtape competition held a couple days ago in Beirut. Uh, the social distancing has really hurt the clown car industry. I uh, was watching American Pie 2 the other day, and apparently there's a deleted scene where they all get AIDS. Uh, when the credits roll, the first 24 names are Jewish. Director, producer, writer, hairdresser, dog handler, the dog. Uh, what's the difference between Antifa and the Houston Astros? Nothing. They both steal signs and come from a hellhole. Wait, who does? Yeah, what was the, that word? The Astros and who? And Antifa. What? Antifa? Antifa is how it's pronounced. They both steal signs and come from a hellhole. Oh yeah, get think about that and feel alright. Everybody now. Okay. William. 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 William, what movie were you talking about? Herbie the Love Bug. Okay. And and you saw the credits and it had a Jewish director, writer, producer, hairstylist, dog handler, and and hairdresser. And and dog? Dog. Hairdresser and dog. You mean dog. Dog. What do you mean, dog? <laughs> yeah, that's the name of the animal. Y'all are right. Jamar, do you pronounce it that way? Which one of those jokes were your was like your favorite one? The like, best oh, I, one. The what? The best one. What did I think was the best yeah, yeah, one? Yeah, yeah, the yeah, Beirut one is my guess. I think you're gonna go with the Beirut one. What was my favorite joke like, from you that wait one? To tell, you couldn't wait to tell it in this set. Which one? Um, Beirut. Was watching American Pie 2 the other day, and apparently there's a deleted scene where they all get AIDS. I was excited about that one. What did you think was going to happen when you said it? I thought they were all going to get sick. When, you, when somebody gets AIDS, they get sick. Actually. Not really. I no. look at Magic Johnson. Yeah. What do you mean Magic Johnson? Who's Magic Johnson? People throw that name around. He's a basketball player. Who is that? He was the first guy. No, hit. seriously. Who's Magic Johnson, Redman? He's a basket. He used to be a basketball player. Now he's uh. The face. Now of AIDS. he's what? The face of AIDS. Face Co of AIDS. Now yeah. he's the well, face of the AIDS. Yeah. Actually, a mosquito is the face of AIDS, yeah. but he's the second face of AIDS. Yeah. Tell me about it, mosquitoes, man. That those things have killed more people than anything else. Like what? Malaria. They carry malaria. Uh huh. What else do they carry? To carry your bags if you're a light traveler. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> they carry your bags if you're a light traveler? I don't get that one. That was a lovely you wanna explain joke, that one? Man. No, shut up. You want to explain that one? Wow, you're very angry tonight. Yeah, I'm angry tonight. Why are you telling me to shut up? Good vibes only. Oh, rudabai. What'd you say? <laughs> oh, rudabai. Rhubarb. Oh, rudabai. Oh, wow. Will oh, the quarterbacker. Tony, Be okay. Beirut is actually my favorite baseball player. <laughs> Beirut? What do you mean? <laughs> Beirut. <laughs> Babe Ruth? Do you want to take Ruth. that again, you bitch? I'm not lying. If I you, would fuck you up. If you look at the video again after <laughs> these airs, there was a mosquito that landed on William <laughs> while he was talking. I know, I saw that. <laughs> it landed, you saw that? Yeah. It landed on your beard. That's fucked up, man. What do you mean it landed on my beard? There oh, it is. shit. It just, Hold on. Put shit your head back. His forehead. Oh. Lee, oh, go, tilt, tilt your head to the right. Go to the right. The right. You got the wait, right. Yeah. Wait, go back. That shit. Hold on. Stop moving. Do y'all see that shit? William, move slower. It's right next to your eye, man. Stop. Oh, stop. Stop. There it is. There it is. What is that? 
a mosquito soul? There's something like on the light or something. No, it's a mosquito. What do you mean something on the light? Is something wrong with my face? Stay right there. Don't move. Now move a little bit towards Ryan. Listen to my direction. Move your head a little bit towards Ryan. Nope. Don't look at Ryan. Move your head towards Ryan. Nope. <laughs> move your body. My eyes? Here, let's try this. Move my it. body. Move your body towards Ryan. Nope. Not, not that what way. What do you mean? Like, go that way. Nope. Watch me. Don't turn. Just, there. wait, it's right there. Don't move. Don't move. Yeah. Do you see it? What the fuck is that? Do you all see that? Damon. It's do you see that? Nope. William, what did I tell you? Don't move. Stay right there. So your head, his, t- put your chin down. It's on his Jamar, get my where back his on this. Where would be. William. Jamar, get my back on this. It's on his What forehead. are they talking about? It's on that your, mosquito soul. <laughs> you gotta go mosquito head. soul. <laughs> Damon, yeah. is that in the it's light? It's like a silhouette of a mosquito. Yo, fix your lights, you bitch. <laughs> no, you're not no. allowed to call staff members Jesus. that name. Sorry, okay. Damon. Well, he Fuck. tripped me last night. No, it's a bug. He didn't trip you. Yeah, he it, tripped me last night. Is there a night. bug on the lights, or yeah. is that on his head? It's yeah, what's going on with the lights up there? Oh, that's hilarious. Whose wow. sweet little voice was that? It's flying in the beams. What bitch just said that? William, you can't just call random I'm stuff. on edge, Tony. I'm sick, man. You know I'm sick right now. I got 104. Oh, God. I got 104, I'm an asymptomatic character, and I've been kissing people. Yeah, who have you kissed lately? David Deary, he's a known faggot. Oh my god. William. Look at him. Look at his fingers by his penis. That guy knows what's up. I'm going to be kissing him tonight. No, don't walk that way. All right. Well, William... What's been going on in your personal life? How's your relationship with the girl that hits you? Uh, last night, honestly, last night she called me uh, her brother, and I started calling her uh, Why is my older heartbeat? sister. Yeah, what's that noise? Was that supposed to help, Red Man? Cool, that was fun. Jamar, would you agree that's funny he did that fucking noise? Jamar, was, what do you think about William? W- like, just as a whole? Yeah, as a whole. I don't know. Like you want to look at my thing? No, like sometimes he's annoying, but sometimes he's like funny. Yep. No, I agree. <laughs> wow. I think I That's think exactly one, right. I think one hundred percent of people <laughs> would agree with that. Is that it, Jamar? But that's but that's but that came from. Is love. that really what you're gonna say? It is so bizarre. I told you that shit every time I see you. I say. I know, and I hear it. Yeah. So then hear it. <laughs> and we're in quarantine. <laughs> my God. What do you do like when you're normal? I am skating around the Eastgate uh, shopping mall in Memphis. <laughs> I um, love that. I love that peanut butter colored T-shirt you're wearing. It's so like, in style. It's more of a burnt orange. A lot of people wearing pumpkin pie this time of the year. Pumpkin pie. What did you call it? A peanut butter color? It's more of a... Like, did you really call it that? Yeah, I did. Piece of shit. Would you I mean, agree with that, Jamar? Um, what would you call this when... Rusted orange? Pumpkin pie. Orange juice left out for a week. (laughs) (laughs) Pumpkin old spice. Flint, Michigan water. Flint, Michigan water. Why are y'all all all teaming up against me tonight? It it looks like you just lost on the floor is lava. (laughs) Why are y'all teaming up against me? It looks like a beautiful shirt, man. What's going on here? Why is this happening? Look at how weak his knees look. Yeah, you do have. You do have. Have you suffered serious <laughs> knee injuries? What do you mean? I have strong knees. knees. Like, your knees look like little bitches. Look at them. Damn. Ah, You're getting roasted knees. by the Lance Armstrong of What do yours look here? like? Uh, one's broken and it still looks better than those. Well, your faggots. oriental girlfriend, when she was sucking your okay, dick in the all glory right, all right. her no, knees no. look good. We're not going to go down this <laughs> road again. Keep going. Your oh. girlfriend looks oriental because she's crying all the time. <laughs> oh, Perfect. Shit. Thanks. <laughs> Why did that get Damn, that response? Red, red man what happened there? Lit William up. Damn, Red. You just got lit the fuck. Why'd you fuck? do that to me, Red Man? <laughs> <laughs> Damn, Red. Why'd you do that to me? Oh, my God. Jamar, I've been thinking about holding the microphone this way. Do you like it? All right, there goes William Montgomery, everybody. There he goes. Yes. Another solid week with William. 
One love, let's get together and feel all right. All right, the show has begun. William has begun it. It has been begun, and he is begun. William. I love you, William. Montgomery. Sometimes. Pull the name out of the bucket. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's a love, uh, love hate. He actually called me um, the other night and kept me on the phone for about 30 minutes. If you're wondering how many people call me just out of the blue, I believe it was about 11:30 at night. Why would you answer that? I, 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 I don't know. I feel <laughs> sometimes I get a call from someone like that, and I'm like, okay, well, maybe they're about to kill themselves, and if so, I'm going again, to again. Why wouldn't you? <laughs> I'm going to Dude. save them if the off chance that they're going to kill themselves. You think William would kill himself? No. Just his liver. You know? No, I don't think so. But I also think that maybe he needed to get bailed out of prison. Like, there's oh. a lot of things. He's got a wild. He's a, he's a real rock star. Like, what you see with William is what you get. All right. And he's an accidental <laughs> overdose candidate for sure. Yeah. 30 minutes, highs and lows in the conversation. He's making me laugh a lot. I'm infuriated at some points, explaining to him some rules at the comedy store that he's been breaking lately. Other times he's cracking me up. I mean, extreme highs and lows in this phone call. I can't stand being on the phone, especially at 1130 at night. It ended up not being a suicide call at all or a jail bailout. He was asking me if when things, if when things open up again, if he can open for me on the road was the, uh, (laughs) was the uh, bread and butter of this conversation. He's sweet and kid. did you go, oh, hell no. What was your That's answer? That's exactly what I <laughs> said. I was like, oh, hell no. Can you call me one time at 1130 at night, William? <laughs> oh, boy. He's asking for the number. I'll give it to you after the show, man. We'll see. If you, uh, yeah. But. Uh, you yeah. want to do my apartment show? All right. There you go. Got it. You booked. There you go. See? <laughs> that's, that's. That's me getting you a gig. <laughs> That's going to hold you over for the years until you open up for me. So funny. You're welcome. <laughs> I pulled a name out of the bucket. This should be exciting. I believe this young man's been on the show before. Make some noise for Brandon Biederstadt, everybody. Here we go. Brandon Biederstadt. What's up, everybody? <clears throat> so I was, uh, I was at the grocery store earlier today, and I was buying condoms. And I noticed that there were some sheepskin condoms. I started thinking, the guy who invented sheepskin condoms might have been a pervert. Like, what was that business meeting like? Oh, latex, it's not going well. People are complaining. It doesn't feel good. Does anyone have any ideas? Well, sheepskin feels pretty fucking good. (laughs) Hey, Bill, I got to ask, how the do you know that? So I've been uh, pretty into this Black Lives Matter thing. I'm learning a lot. (laughs) I I think mainly I've learned that white people suck. (laughs) Here's just a couple reasons that why I think white people suck. White people suck because they put more effort into contacting aliens than learning Spanish. (laughs) Do you know how many white dudes speak Klingon? That's a made up language to speak to only other white dudes. White people suck because they get more mad when you misgender their dog than a trans person. He's a good boy. Apologize to Cooper. <laughs> hey, every little thing is going to be all right. Welcome to the show, Brandon Biederstadt. Thank you. Thank Where are you originally from? I'm from a small town in Iowa. In Iowa. What's the name of the small town? Newton, Iowa. Newton, Iowa. How long have you lived in Los Angeles? I'm at five years. How far east of La Brea do you live? Very far east. (laughs) I'm right in uh, Chinatown, Right, as you would expect. So that's about 15, 20 minutes east of La Brea, for those of you that don't know your Los Angeles landscape. (laughs) I could tell because... uh, that's what someone that would write a joke about learning a lot from Black Lives Matter would be from. <laughs> That's exactly where they would be. People between La Brea and La Cienega is would that, not... Is uh, that street change now? Like recently, it seems like it's kind of down the Comedy street store market. legend, I just want to wave to him and say hello. The great Argus Hamilton hey, Argus. popping his head through the door. Hello, sir. 
Good to see you. We're doing an episode of Kill Tony here. Argus is a legend, record holder for most appearances all time on The Tonight Show as a comedian um, and uh, a great, great uh, uncle to us all. Here. And wearing Steve Martin's jacket. Dude. That is awesome. He is a rock star. <laughs> it's not dirty, no nothing. He ain't spilling no spaghetti sauce on nope, it. Nope, he keeps it clean. <laughs> Thank you so much, Argus. I love it. Just performed through the glass. Yeah. That's it. I love it. We're doing it. Hey, whatever it takes for us to. It's crazy, right? I know. That's why I've just been blowing dudes to get by yeah. for money. <laughs> we love you, Argus. Thank you. Follow say, him on social media. Some say that jacket's actually black, and that's just a bunch of cocaine. Okay, Red Band. This is going well. Remember What's the, his name? Beater Snap? Yeah. Beater Stat. Beater, oh. Uh, what'd you say about white people be doing what? White people put more effort into contacting aliens than learning Spanish. And is that, is that because you do these things? And then so, like, does that go for you too? I, oh, that's a great point. I am a white person. Uh, do you put more effort no, in contacting I can speak aliens? Spanish, actually, and I don't believe in aliens. So I am... An observant of my fellow whites. Oh. <laughs> so you're just criticizing what very few white people do and making Oh, it bullshit. There are plenty of whites that are obsessed with aliens. Tony? I thought she was being real. I've actually... I've heard Red that Red Band, joke. if you're going to burp, please like just don't turn your head in my direction and burp. Like It's like very bizarre to do that. Well, There's all of that way. I, I didn't... I, and and really just like burping I didn't breathe like, out yet like you're at home I think it's like a difference too like we're bizarre. in Los Angeles so there are white people who speak Spanish here but I'm from Iowa where there's two dudes who speak Spanish and not well and I'm one of them you should you should uh, always wear a silver jacket that's exactly what I was going to say. It's so funny you mentioned that. that was, those were going to be the next words out of my mouth. Mm -hmm. I picture a silver jacket and you just fucking slaughter. Have you thought about this at all? No, but I will never perform again without one. Yeah. What's your sex life like? Uh, I haven't been laid in almost a year, but this weekend I'm going to get laid a bunch. How do you know that? Um, I'm going to like a quarantine fuck shack thing. Where is this at? <clears throat> It's, you're not invited. <laughs> That's like, I thought really? you said only, Black Lives Matter two seconds ago. What I know, what the <laughs> fuck? I have a only more, white people allowed? You don't want him to ruin all that pussy before you have it? I have more to learn, I guess. Tell us know. about this fuck shack, Brandon. Yeah. Oh, it's uh, on, Starting Air, with the address. on Airbnb. If you guys want the link to it later, it's, yeah. uh, I believe, $130 a night. It's one of the better fuck shacks in Victorville, which is close Victor to Real. Big Bear, but not in Big Bear. This, hold on, hold this, on. This is weird. Guys. This is real shit. I've actually heard this from somebody that we all know pretty well that they go to. I want to hear more Airbnb, about this. Let's like, hear more about this. Things. Keep going. Tell us more, Brandon. Have you done this before? No, it's been a year, dude. No, I've, it's been a year since you've I've, done an Airbnb since, fuck shack. No, I used to have regular sex, but now okay. it's kind of one of those things where, like, I had to get tested yesterday to convince this girl to fuck me. Like, it's a different time. So you you had to convince a girl who's going to be at the fuck shack to go to the fuck shack. Well, yeah. the fuck shack <laughs> is a little place where we, we can, can fuck get together. together. Na -na -na. And the fuck shack baby. Hey, it's the fuck shack baby. Okay, 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 okay. Jeremy. Are there gonna be uh? So so you so you have to convince a girl to go with you to the fuck shack? Are there other bitches yeah. at this fuck shack? And why would she make you get tested? You seem like the. You would have naked, like you would cure STDs if you fucked somebody. Oh, I didn't have to get tested for STDs. No. Was oh, would you have to oh, get tested? For COVID. COVID. Yeah, <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. I, uh, Jesus, that's so dumb. You could totally catch Corona before that. I agree, but you can also cure most STDs in no time. So, so you have to like, bring a girl to this fuck shack in order to come. That's why you're asking her. I thought it was like a porn. Like you'd have to get tested for STDs before going to a fuck shack. No. No, that's not. Normal. It's like BYOB type shit. It's pretty much like all the massage parlors that used to be fuck shacks uh, during the quarantine have all got together, rented Airbnbs, and like. So there's gonna be a gang of Asian bitches there. 
It's going to be one chick. I'm just worried. What's the ethnicity of the girl that you're interested in having sex with? Well, this one's going to be white. Uh-huh. Bruh, bruh. Have you ever been with any other type of woman? I've been with one Good. black chick. Yeah. Yeah, really? Oh, oh, and a Hispanic chick. Did she yeah. rape you? Or, like, how did that happen? Did you romance a black woman? I cannot picture this for the she, life of me. She, out of any girl I've ever been with, is the one who, like, freaked out the most to find out that I have a belly button ring. Like, she, black chicks aren't uh, down with that. <gasps> Wait a second. Hold on. It's raining, man. <laughs> you have a belly button ring? No, I ha- I got it pierced when I was like seven. Do you have a tribal tattoo around the... <laughs> the no, that'd be gay. <laughs> the sun. <laughs> so is it still pierced? It's actually harder to take out than keep in. He know? named it pierced. You got that shit in right now? Yeah, dude. Let me see this shit. Let's You're trying it. to be at the fuck shack. You're trying to get me undressed. We got to see Let the belly button ring. Let me see a dumb ring. belly button ring. Oh, wow. He's starting unbuttoning at the nipples for this. This is very a very high unbutton. Oh, there this he goes. This is uh, by far the fattest I've ever been. That's but, okay. Yeah, we know. Yeah. We can tell through the shirt. What don't. the fuck? Oh, here we go. Oh, my. Oh, uh, my God. <laughs> this nigga got a... <laughs> this is un... This nigga look like Shakira. <laughs> <laughs> Shakira in the house. <laughs> bra, bra. Oh my god. No, no, no. Please leave it unbuttoned. This is uh, incredible. And this it got is... hair tangled in it. Oh my god. You're so hairy. And that is like a two. For those of you just <laughs> listening to the podcast, there's like a gem at the bottom and a gem at the top. I'm stunting. It uh, is unfucking believable this thing. What is it? Well, like what's what's hanging from the is it a- Here's the thing, the girls won't fuck me if I have a dangly. So this is just a regular old <laughs> belly button ring. So wait, you <laughs> had a dangly before? And they they can hear it like making noise. Oh. So girls like won't it. fuck me if I have a dangly because of my pubes get all so tangly when I'm going down on a girl. I'm going down on the Okay, okay, thank you. Thank you, Skeet. That shit look like it stink. Yeah, it looks like there's yeah. a dream catcher oh, in the middle of it. It does. It doesn't smell good. Does that good. still have the price tag on it from Forever 21? Bra, bra. Ice. Spencers. I mean, it asshole. is so bizarre. Do you do that to be funny? Like, why do you still have that? Why do you do that? Why, 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 why? Is it to be funny? You tie balloons to it? It's not for material. You only do it for the laughs, right? Yeah, yeah. Yep, that's 100%. Does it make you feel good in any way? I feel less homophobic in a weird way. What? Less homophobic. Let me wear that shit. How homophobic (laughs) were you before? Clearly not like that homophobic. You're from a small town in Iowa. You could be. No, but that's the best part is like, yeah, in small town Iowa, this is like fucking. Does your father know? Are you close with your father? He's, yeah, he lives dad. in a small town in <laughs> Iowa, right? My dad knows. He texted me. He's a high school football coach? My dad has given me a conversation multiple times where it's okay to be gay even though I'm not. He's just like, if you want to come out, man, I wouldn't even care. Right. No, I would imagine so. What does he do? My dad is a uh, salesman. What, is he really? He sells yeah, he's, a, <laughs> he's always been a salesman. He switched jobs, but what was that? Selling uh, shit. What he was sells it? belly bed and piercings. <laughs> <laughs> they, <laughs> they got him piercings. I'd have a nicer one probably. <laughs> How many different belly button uh, attachments do you have? <laughs> Seven or eight. <laughs> Seven or eight. Oh my god, you're like a you're like a video game character. <laughs> is that your pretty that one? Your oh no, my. Like I said, the girls don't like the privy ones, but my favorite one. <laughs> what is that then? It's, I see it sparkling like they an engagement sparkle. ring. They all sparkle. They don't sell non. <laughs> You could have a black one in there or something like that. For those of you just joining the show, (laughs) this guy has a belly button piercing. For those of you that have been watching the whole time, it's still there. He still has it. How long have you had this for? Nine years. Nine Nine years. years. Nine years. Nine. That shit got us. I'm calling the police. Dude. (laughs) Tony. I'm about to call the police. Chroma Chris said that's a lot of cum, Chris, around that. (laughs) Nine are you gonna wear worth. that belly button ring to the fuck shack, or are you gonna wear it? No, like she's your favorite. Yeah, one? she's your one of the one. specific girls who does not like the dangly. And you so. moved from Iowa five years ago. Yeah. Has yeah. your father ever seen your belly button piercing? <laughs> he saw it the first day. Yeah. He saw what it. did he say? He said, "Do not get another piercing without telling me." 
Well, where else could you even get pierced that would be that offensive? His nipples. Obviously, it would be <laughs> I was done. It was a one and done. I'm not going to escalate. So the only piercing you've ever had in your life was your belly button. What made you do that? I think it's funny. I was. It was nine years ago. It seemed kind of funny. You didn't in do that because interview. it was funny. You and thought nine it was years cool. later, you still think it's funny. Nine years. It's kind of pretty funny. Yeah. What? It, it, it is kind of funny. It is Thank funny. You. It's funny. I don't as think fun. he got as funny. Why is that not enough? Of it's a like reason? a middle joke. You're though. fucking comedians. Hey, <laughs> look, no. I'm telling you, I think it's funny. I don't pull it out in sets almost ever. Interviews, it comes up more often. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man. Look, man. Let me ask you this. What else have you done like that? That's funny? Like, what else have you done? Uh, I, you, in high school, I, if people would cheer my name, I would eat bugs. What kind of bugs would you eat? The most, the, the most famous, like, notorious brand and bug eating situation was in front of, like, the whole football crowd. Uh, someone had caught a giant praying mantis, and they all cheered my name, right. and I, I ate the whole You ate the mantis. Lord's bug. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I hadn't even thought about it, but... <laughs> That's crazy. That is true. <laughs> but yeah, honestly, like I know you guys would probably think that would make me like the the loser, but uh, man, people still talk about that shit, dude. dude no, was, I love oh, it. Oh uh, yeah. You are, you remember are you in the yearbook? <laughs> that f- yes, actually, I'm in the yearbook. Well, as what? As what? The School f- shoot up. Bra bra. <laughs> Wow, you're funny, I eat praying dude. mantises. You're funny, man. So this fuck shack, there's going to be one girl there that uh, you really want to... How long have you been communicating with this girl that you're looking forward to having sex with this weekend? She's my ex. So, like... What? How but long did you guys date for? A year. How long have you been broken up for? Almost two. <laughs> and how long have you been communicating about going to the fuck shack? Three weeks, because we fucked, so like, it's been... three weeks ago. Oh. It's been... I just... Asked you how long it's been since you had sex, yeah, and you said, said a year, year ago. We had. Oh, this thing would be lying. It had been a year since that three weeks, and then I convinced a girl to go to fuck shack. And where where did you fuck her three weeks ago? At uh, my buddy's house. Where in your buddy's house? On uh, their bed. Was your buddy there? No, no. He was out of town. He said I could stay there to watch his dogs, and. Uh, Okay, and you and you brought a girl over your ex, uh-huh. and you guys had sex. Were the dogs in the room with you? Were the dogs there? No, actually, I wouldn't let them be in the room. They're big dogs. Were they corn so dogs? They were not corn dogs. <laughs> <laughs> they about two, two feet long? German Shepherd. Were they breaded on the outside? Okay. Uh, Does Iowa State Fair reference? Thorough like breaded. It, so how many people do you think are going to be at the fuck shack? I think it's, it's gonna pronounced be, uh, Shake Shack. Po- Look at him. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's gonna be a getaway. It's gonna be a romantic one on one. So it's on just one. two people. So what we- I'm gonna fuck in it, and like that's the plan. Are there that other people that are going to be there? No. no. Oh, what you got talking I thought, about? Yeah. I don't. I didn't use the word orgy. No, you said I don't fuck give a fuck. Shack, you said the fuck and that's shack. a known thing that people have like like fuck parties and I, use Airbnb. I'm actually. It's a new- fuck shack, baby. Yeah, I, I thought that was more of an innocent song to be honest. <laughs> Play it, please, yeah. <laughs> Get your belly button pierced at the fuck shock. All right. I can put it away now, right? No, to- leave it out okay. forever. For the rest of the night, <laughs> even in the, your Uber ride home, you have to have your shirt up like that. So I can't believe you you said fuck shock. You didn't just say we're renting an Airbnb. I'm, I'm planning to fuck yeah. her. Yeah, nigga, you're not cool. <laughs> no, yeah. no, I have a belly like, button. I thought he was a belly <laughs> <all. know. laughs> It's not did even. I, it's not a I, fuck shack. I don't even think you have the entire place on Airbnb. There's probably gonna. You, I feel like you probably budgeted it out. You're like well, <laughs> one room available, <laughs> shared house, <laughs> shared bathroom. The host. No, is, no dogs, cats, belly button piercings. The host said that she would be there for check in only. So. Um. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Oh, well, this Tony. has been so much fun. We spent way too much time with you. Uh, in seven years, uh, over 2,000 people pulled out of this bucket. We, you are the first male with a belly button piercing, and we squeezed all we could out of you. Brandon Biederstadt, everybody. There he goes. Holy shit. Holy shit. Incredible. My mind is blown. Josh, have you ever seen anything like that in your whole life? It's a real hairy belly button pierce. Well, Ty- Tyrese had one. Really? 
Yeah. Yeah, but he can fuck. Cisco him. probably yeah, had one too. Oh, huh? t- oh yeah, Cisco had one had too. Guy, awesome. Guys that can like pour water on themselves and be attractive to women can get away with it. But, yeah, but, but Brandon Beater staff doesn't have. He was literally a vacuum. Ah, oh, whatever that means. <laughs> <laughs> what a belly button. Ring. I'll tell you this next comedian definitely does not have his belly button pierced. Uh, I can pretty much get damn well guarantee that. Uh, this guy is a tough guy. He's a tough cookie. He's a roast god. He's a great joke writer. Great comedian. Ladies and gentlemen, it's David Lucas. They see me rolling. It's David. That's David's music. <laughs> <Salute>. <laughs> yeah. Uh I think uh, eating ass is for guys that need a place to live. But uh, due to boredom, my girl convinced me to eat her ass during quarantine. Uh, It was cool. The shit was like licking on a kneecap. Booty holes and kneecaps got the same type of skin. Uh, But while I was eating her ass, can you believe that this bitch farted? Four years down the drain over a poot. And that bitch had been eating Mexican food earlier. Felt like I got pepper sprayed. <laughs> that shit was spicy as fuck. Like, bitch, I've been pepper sprayed and pepper spray was better. <laughs> uh, black people stopped being valuable to white people after Eli Whitney invented the cotton gin. Mm. After they made something that could pick cotton faster than us, they had no more need for us. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why I like that joke. Hey. <laughs> Red man <shaking> his head. <laughs> yeah. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. There you go. Red Eating bay, ass during the quarantine. You didn't like that, Red Bear? <sighs> I mean. Harsh. I mean, a white person can't say it. Did you really eat this girl's ass? Like, you don't like eating ass? Is that no, they got to eat no ass. There it's was an joke, ass bro. and a fart in this 60 seconds, so we're going to let our correspondent red I band take over master. here. Oh, two <laughs> fart noises. Whoa. <laughs> two farts. Bruh. The cardinal. The cardinals. The fartinals. You don't like eating ass? <laughs> nah, bro. That shit. You only like eating time, pussy? Only time I've ate ass is by accident because the ass is only an inch away from the bottom of the pussy. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> that's not how it works. That's really. the only time when I've been drunk and I'm eating <laughs> pussy wildly and my tongue. David actually- accidentally <laughs> eats anything that's an inch away from anything. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, her pussy's not like a little hole. It's like this thing you have to kind of open up and get in there. You're, how do you? That, whatever. Some bitches got outer, like some bitches pussies are inverted and some Tucked are like in. out. Yeah. yeah. Some of them are hangers, some of them are bangers. That's yeah. what I always say. I'm scared of big clits. Yeah, why why are you scared of them? Cuz I don't be knowing that he used to be a nigga, you know what I'm saying? Wait, say that again? Cuz I be having like strange feelings in my head like did this bitch get a dick cut off and get her shit tucked? Whoa, you're that afraid of big clits, being yeah. with someone that used to have a dick? Big clit. <laughs> <laughs> big Hell clits, yeah, one of my favorite rappers from the I mean, if, if if I fuck a uh, trans what they call transformer? Transgender. Uh, trans, what, no, transformer. I mean, yeah. trans. What they, what they call it? Just trans. Let's just leave it at trans. trans. You had yeah. it at trans. No <laughs> if, need to add anything more. If I fuck a trans, it, I want it to be known up front, not me discovered when exactly, I pull your pants Exactly, Joy. Down. Right. So <laughs> what, what would happen? What do you think would happen if you were with a woman and uh, let's say... Let's say she's like, fuck me, and you walk in, and uh, she says that, and she's already bent over, and you fuck her, and then like you're like, all right, I want to see you, and you flip her over, and there's just a giant cock and balls there. So what would happen then? Yeah, I get charged with a hate crime. For real? What do you think you would do? Your first move's just a punch? No, I'd probably fucking slam that bitch head in a sink. Seriously? Like, if you came... And then you found out. If I came, I'm, I'm going to be very mad. The fact really? That, hell yeah. So you'd, you'd be more mad if you came than if yes, you didn't come? especially if the pussy was good. <laughs> what if, okay, let me ask you this. It, hold on, hold on, everybody. I relax. can't believe you made hold, me come. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> it's not, it's, it's not let not me ask you come. this. Let me ask you this. So let's say you fuck this girl, right? Or yeah. whatever, right? And you have sex and you come on, say, her back, right? Yeah. And then, but she like doesn't even roll over, right? And you're just sort of hanging and then you get excited again. Maybe she says something, right, that turns you on and you start fucking her again, <laughs> right? And then let's say you come again, right? You yeah. pull out, shoot on her back again, yeah. right? You lay down for a bit and you can't even believe it. But 15 minutes later, you get hard again. You start fucking her again. You come again. Would you be... <laughs> More mad coming three times, coming once, 
Or coming twice. <laughs> or coming twice. I mean, I mean, when does it become like, you know what, I fell in love with you on that third time? I don't feel like that would happen to me, but let's say hypothetically. Oh, I think it would. You no. tricked me, you dick vixen. <laughs> bra, 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 so, bra. so the thing is, if I'm going to fuck a girl and she got a dick, that means I don't know her because I'm going to definitely use a condom. But if I've known a girl like 24 hours, I don't use condoms, bro. Like, Dang. wait, 24 hours is the limit? Yeah, because I ask a lot of questions. <laughs> 24 hours, yeah, and you're I, like, all right, you pass the questionnaire. Yeah, dude. condoms are out the window. Yep. Dave, how do, how, do you, how do you ask a. Um... <laughs> well, let, let me hold on. I'm sorry to cut you off. What if you haven't known her for 24 hours? She hasn't made it through the questionnaire, <laughs> right? And you're like, oh, I'm going to fuck you. I'm going to put this condom on. And she's like, all right, give me one too. <laughs> 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 would you stop there or would you just pretend like you didn't hear that? I'm going to stop and DDT that bitch. DDT? Yeah. Oh, my God. That's a, that's a, yeah, it's, what's crazy about that move is that they end up with their... Doggy dick tuck that bitch. <laughs> yeah, you're going to say dunk that, that dick? What are you doing? Red man, you want to What's DTD? Fuck. DDT? Yeah. No. DTD is what you do. Look, have you, perhaps have you thought about this? Have you yeah. thought about... Roasted. <laughs> No, I don't even know what it is still. <laughs> He's just saying gibberish DD- now and going boom. A DDT, boom, boom, clap. A DDT is a wrestling move. Yeah, it's a, it's a fucking... Uh, uh, Brian, you ask more questions about world-famous <laughs> things than anybody yeah, I, I mean, know. If, I mean, I, if, if, if six-year-olds were here, they would tell me, but... Question no, for grown David. Adults. Literally everyone Ra- here knows back and tell you how long it takes to boil udon noodles. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Three minutes. Question... <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so have you ever thought about uh, perhaps, you know, uh, coming up with your own ways of saving your pride in this situation? Perhaps you have sex with uh, a woman who turns out to be a man. She tells you that she's a man, right, after you have sex with her, and you'd be like, well, there's something I didn't tell you. I'm blind and deaf, so I didn't hear or see any of that, and uh, I came. Shit. I will say this, bro. I, I will say this. About three years ago, uh, or three or four years ago when I first got on All Deaf Digital, a tranny did hit me up. But the bit was so bad, I didn't know she was a tranny. And she worked for the airline, so we almost literally like hooked up. Holy shit. But it was like two weeks before she was about to get my ticket, and she's like, I got to tell you something. Oh. I was born a man. Oh. Damn. Oh. Fuck. What, what airline? No. Transcontinental? <laughs> <laughs> I think the bit worked on Alaska. Oriental Air? Never mind. If I, if, what would you guys do if you <laughs> fucked a if you fucked a girl, and then afterwards you came and everything? They, she said like, "Hey, I used to be a guy." What would you guys do? Like, I would like, probably uh, be like, "Oh, you got me once." Uh, get get out call her yeah. the next day. Red Bear's gonna order Uber Eats. <laughs> 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 hey, you want some noodles or rice? <laughs> <laughs> you gonna still talk to me? You would o- order Uber Eats, Postmates, DoorDash. You would order right, all. All right, all right, right, man. Get Boom. Fuck so <laughs> you're asking if if a girl was if, like, if I you used came, to be if a you guy. fucked her, and then you came, and then she said afterwards, what would you guys do? I'd be like, uh, I would cry, and then I would call myself a, f- a fag for like, <laughs> <laughs> for like, for like, it'd be like a, a, I, I, for like the rest of my year or life. I probably become celibate on some real shit. I, I would stop cry. having sex. I would tell I'm my family. Yeah, you would totally stop having sex. Yeah, you wouldn't fuck something three days later. <laughs> You're <This> right. Is... <laughs> Once those balls re- reach maximum level, you, you'd be hitting her up again. Be like, hey, can we do that again? But this time, don't tell me about the part where you used to be a guy. <laughs> Bro, that shit would suck. Like, like if you fuck Literally, a... bygones be bygones. If you fuck a trans, transit... How they call it? Transgender. Transgender. Oh, my God. Ginger. No. Gender. Oh. This is like the movie Just sequel to Arachnophobia, Transphobia. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be you, like, I'd be like that was great. You want to go to the fuck shack tomorrow? If you fuck a trans and the pussy be good, that, I'm going to have, that shit would like turn me into an alcoholic. I'm going to have so many questions. Like, have I been doing this shit wrong my whole life? Right. And you got to worry about getting the bitch pregnant? Like, nigga, that is almost a W. Nope. <sighs> well. Nope. I don't feel like it is, dog. <laughs> I don't feel like it is at all. Can trans pussy get STDs? That mean that a nigga just fucked the shit out of you. How you feel about well, that? Well, no, I don't. Think, nigga, I don't I think person. anybody's getting fucked. I'm pretty sure you know that they used to be a man if they fuck you. Well, oh, I was if like, they throw a dick in your ass, I'm why is sure. your pussy in my butthole right now? <laughs> <laughs> bra, bra. 
And why are you wearing my on? Jordans? <laughs> <laughs> Bitch, those are my shoes. <laughs> why? <laughs> why is your best Hell yeah, bro. That's why I be scared of women with big hands and big feet. For real? You be, yeah. Don't ask me sex. Ask me shoe size. Yeah. You know. Let me see them knuckles, bitch. <laughs> Damn, is that how it works? Yeah, I got to arm wrestle a bitch. If she beat me, you <laughs> <laughs> Over the top became over the bottom. <laughs> I, I always used to look at Adam's apples because I thought that was a thing. But no, still, Red that's old school, Adam's bro. Apples. But Red Band started looking at candy apples. That's like <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and you bought them is and ate a, them. Is that a <laughs> thing? <laughs> oh, my God. Roast <laughs> 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 Man, you bought them. It ain't <laughs> roasted chicken. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Well, this has been a lot of fun. Hell this yeah! You just had a nigga with a belly button ring. Yeah. This god is damn! He looked like somebody I picked on in high school, bro. Really? If a nigga ate a bug, I would be like, "Hey, bro, come holler at me. Bring him in the locker room, and beat his ass." Why would you beat his ass? That's hilarious. Yeah, bro, he's not because, even a trans person. Because that's what kids need nowadays. They need to get bullied a little bit, and they'll be a little tougher. No, you need to film him eat that bug, put it on YouTube, and make some money, man. Yeah. All right, David. Get the money, set, Dave. Fun, <laughs> very fun interview. I yeah. love this. Thank yeah. you so much, the great David yeah. Lucas, everybody. <laughs> David Lucas, funny. On social media. Make sure you're following him. Great videos, great jokes. Things did it up. We want to tell you about our newest sponsor, SK Kratom. Now, if you're over the age of 18 and not familiar with Kratom, listen up. Kratom is natural, it is the leaf of a tropical evergreen tree, mainly found on the island of Borneo. For hundreds of years, it was used by the people of Indonesia. Workers in the rice fields would chew the leaves to help with energy and stamina throughout the day, similarly to how Americans drink coffee or energy drinks. Most Kratom consumers use Kratom as an alternative to dangerous and addictive pharmaceuticals. Kratom has been scientifically proven to be safe. SK Kratom is the best in the business. They have been a top Kratom supplier for over six years and traveled to even Indonesia numerous times to see how and where their suppliers operate. So they were able to weed out bad product and suppliers, which is really important. SK put the effort in so you are getting the best possible product. SK operates as a legitimate herbal supplement business with rigorous standards to ensure the consumer has the highest quality, safest product, including testing by third-party FDA consultants to prove the quality of SK Kratom. So if you're into Kratom, get it from SK Kratom. Go to SoapCorner.com and use the promo code KILLTONY30 for 30% off your first order of $35 or more. That's soapcorner with a K dot com and code KILLTONY30 for 30% off. Soapcorner.com. These statements have not been evaluated by the Food and Drug Administration. This product is not intended to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent any disease. This product is not for use by sale to persons under the age of 18. This product should be used only as directed on the label. It should not be used if you are pregnant or nursing. Consult with a physician before you have a serious medical condition and use prescription medications. A doctor's advice should be sought before using this and any other supplemental dietary product. All right, back to the bucket we go. Let's see what happens here. Oh, wow. This uh, this young lady uh, has been on the show numerous times. It's been a very long time. She's a writer. She's an employee at the Comedy Store. Uh, it's uh, It's been a very long time since she's been on. We're excited to have her back. Here she is, everybody. It's Joy Eileen. Here we go. Joy Eileen. Here's Joy Eileen, everybody. So my mom just told me that she doesn't trust magicians because they lie. <laughs> she also told me she doesn't like bisexual people because they can't make up their mind. And this is from a lady who cannot decide if she wants tacos or hot dogs for dinner. I signed up for a Zoom workout class, but I told the lady that um, my camera was broken so then I just watch her work out and eat chips. <laughs> I can't watch my 600 pound life because I get saucy and think I'm hot. <laughs> um, I cannot wait till thrift stores open again because everybody's been cleaning out their closets and dying. <laughs> Let's see. I don't eat a... Oh, fuck that one. Yeah. Thank you. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah. Quality. Very fun. There you go. There you go. Absolutely. That's where that would end. Yep. Okay. There you go. Get your little. There you go. Very good. Thank you, Skeeter. Skeeter. Okay. Joy Eileen is back on the show. Bruh. Fun stuff there. <laughs> Magicians, bisexuals. Your mom's like that? Yeah, she is. How old is she? She is 67. Where does she live? Madeira, Fresno. Fresno. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah. That's okay. That's where I went to college. That's north of uh, north of Los Angeles by about what? Four hours? Five hours? Three hours. Three hours. Yeah. That's fun. And that's where you were raised? Yes. I actually went to of, Fresno State. A lot of windmills up there? No. 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 All right. What's what's Fresno known for? Um, meth. Yes. Bulldogs. Lots of dogs. Yeah. Well, yeah. Bulldogs. But um, yeah. Shark the Tark the shark. Shark the Tark. He was a basketball coach. Oh, yeah. yeah tar- He's, Tarkesian? Or yeah, he yeah. threw shit. Yep. Yeah, he got really mad at me once because I asked one of those basketball players to break into my car. Why? Because I locked my keys in my car, and I was like, hey, you look like you could break into cars, and he told me not to talk to his players like that. Was it a black guy? Yeah. You look oh, like you God. break into cars? <laughs> yeah. Jamar, what do you think about this? Ago. You're a senior black a guy person. correspondent. No. Um... If yeah. a white woman asked you to break into her car, what would you do? You break into it for me. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be like, I'd be like, what do I get? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I love that pink pussy. <laughs> I, love I love that pink pussy. I too, uh, much like you <laughs> talked about, I too love watching uh, my 600 pound life. I mean, that is my thing. The thousand pound sisters. Have you seen this show? No, uh, I don't know. Unfucking believable. Unbelievable. When the quarantine started, I got down on this. Thousand pound sisters, just unbelievably <laughs> grotesque human beings. <laughs> Jeremiah, I see you nodding along. They call here. each other fat, and then the other one <laughs> looks at him and says, Bitch, you're not a prize. Right, exactly. <laughs> I mean, these two women uh, are just humongous, humongous, humongous white women. Jamar, your thoughts about this? You're a senior black horse. These are two f- thousand pound white hoes? Yeah. <laughs> And they just in the crib all day <laughs> naked. Well, not <laughs> naked. Oh. But very easy access. Oh. I mean, clothes wise, getting the What they do for a apart. living? Nothing. But they get money somehow? Yeah, from Friday. the government. Yeah. One of them can't get out of bed <laughs> until she's had, I believe, three cans of soda. She's so. <laughs> she's. She's so addicted to soda that she has to literally drink it to get out of bed. What's the soda? Do you know? They, are they they're white? I think it's just regular Pepsi or Coca Cola. Are they thick or fat? They are both. They, oh, they are. I like, fuck the thick part. Yes, <laughs> yes, Jamar. She's a thousand pound thick woman. <laughs> a perfect big booty. Yeah. Two giant boobs that go out to here. Perfect frame. How tall is she? Nine feet tall. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. They don't necessarily get much working out in. The only working out that they do on Thousand Pound Sisters or My 600 Pound Life is e bikes. E bikes? What is that? It's an electric bicycle. I'm just kidding. It's oh, a, that's funny. It's a running That joke's that's funny. super like lasting. It. <laughs> super what? Like it. Super hilarious the first time and the last five, six, seven, eight weeks. I yeah. Like it. No, it's great. It's going to be funny right. <laughs> for eternity. The E in e bike stands for eternally funny. E bike is funny. I should get it. <laughs> Tom and Christina just talked about it last week. Yeah, because they like electronic bikes also. It's just a bicycle with a battery. Uh, how, yeah. many, how many pounds are these uh, girls lost? None. Their, n- their show is not about losing weight. Sometimes they'll try to lose weight, and it's very easy for them to lose weight. They basically have to do nothing except, like, stop eating pies. Oh. Just if they, like, take a break from eating pies, literally eating pies. If they take just a few days off of eating pies, they lose, like, 30 pounds because their body's so used to just pies and so much other shit. How Almost, old are these girls? I would guess probably like 30s in their 30s. They're not dead? No, they're close. They got diabetes. One of them's shit. closer than the other. The one that's, and they, 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 one has a forehead that protrudes out, oh, and, no. and the other one has two eyes that look opposite oh. directions. Which one would you fuck <laughs> if you had to choose? Forehead well, I mean, you know, that forehead is pretty intriguing. Let's face <laughs> it. 
And the pie, you know what I mean? You get to roll over, eat some pie. Wow. Have a can I always of wondered like like if you like of, like how they clean themselves, but like if they ever like lifted a tit up, if there just mushrooms and shit growing under Do they have kids? <laughs> oh, you just made Skeeter sick to his stomach, man. <laughs> They got kids and shit, boyfriends. No. They do have a boyfriend. There's one creepy guy that sort of like <laughs> white just, guy. He just yeah, is a belly button chain yeah. guy. Oh, actually, you know what? One does have a uh, a skinny black man yeah. boyfriend oh, that yes. comes in once in a while. I remember now. Really? Yeah. Oh, it's incredible. It's incredible. It's just mind boggling. You ever watch Thousand Pound Sisters? No, I've never seen that one. Mm. Yeah, I can't. I, I love your thrift store joke. That's uh, Thanks. very accurate too. I didn't even think about that. Unfortunately, like two thrift stores in Burbank just closed down because you can't pay rent when you're already making thrift store money. I guess, but but they get grants, wouldn't you think? Some oh. Goodwill does, I think. Yeah, How long have you been doing comedy, Joe? <laughs> uh, five years. Oh, okay. On cool. and off, though, more off than on because I have kids. You started in Fresno. No, I started here on oh, Kill okay. Tony. Yeah, well. I did it a couple times before Kill Tony, mm. but I bombed so fucking hard on that stage the first time I got pulled up. Oh. It was oh. With, yeah, it was bad. Hmm. What happened? Who was um, here? Frank Castillo and Mark, Mike Lawrence. Mm. Yeah, it was right when Frank had won, and I got up there. I don't know, because when you first do it, you don't bomb. Right. You know, like your first set, like I feel if you bombed your first set, you wouldn't do it again. So I did it, and I had all of this fucking confidence, like a fucking idiot, and I got up there, and nobody laughed. And then I made fun of Pat, and everybody laughed, and you were like, you can leave now. And I was like, fucking thank you. Hmm. Okay. That's crazy. <laughs> How you been spending the quarantine? You have kids? I have kids. So freckle dick, right? Yeah, freckle dick. Yeah, he, was all, he wanted to come tonight. He was like, can, I, can you just sneak me in? He wants to get snuck in with um, Brad Williams. <laughs> Oh. I wonder how come they don't do like one of them thousand pound bitch shows like but they also put the midgets and shit in the house and like right. like all like all that shit. That'd be that'd be kinda tight. Absolutely. Fucking circus Dude. world. Freak show. Circus love- real world. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> With anyway. <Theo> Vaughn. <laughs> anyway. We should write that. Absolutely. Yeah. That's what it's coming to. Just mash a bunch of freak shit together. <laughs> Get a guy in there with a hairy Chest and a belly button ring. Yeah. And just let me be in there, too. <laughs> Call it Fuck Shack. Fuck Shack? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Sure. So everything's been good during the quarantine? Yeah. I've actually... St- I didn't stop working. The you chiropractor didn't close, so I actually haven't what? stopped working. Yeah. Wow. Oh, so you're still giving massages? Yeah. Oh, God damn. I mean, I had to stop the massage podcast, right. so John and I started one, and apparently John's funnier than me, so fuck that. There you um, go. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody who listens to it, they're like, man, John's funny. That's like, great. Yeah. It's awesome. It's fun. So, I love it. Well, there you go. Well, right. thank you so much for coming Bye. on this evening. Fun times. Joy Eileen, everybody. Cool. There she goes. Uh, All right. Back to the bucket. I'd like a road bug. Step back from that ledge. All right, pulled another name out of the bucket. Ladies and gentlemen, make some noise for Spencer O'Neill. Here we go. Oh, yeah. Spencer O'Neill, he is coming to the stage. S-P-E-N-C-E-R. O'Neill is his name. Here he is, Spencer O'Neill. Hey, how's it going? I've uh, been, been in a bit of a dry spell lately. Uh, it's actually gotten so bad that uh, now whenever I hear about a guy who looks like me is getting laid, I'm like, ah, nice. That's us. We're doing that. We are fucking that girl. <laughs> I recently learned that I can't tell Italian people and gay people apart uh, because they both use their hands so much when they talk. Like the other day, I was talking to a guy, and I went to kiss him, and he was like, whoa, what are you doing? I'm Italian. And I was like, oh, my bad. That's awkward. Then I was talking to another guy, and I went to hand him a cannoli, and he's like, hey, what are you doing? I'm gay. And I was like, I can't tell you people apart. (laughs) This is ridiculous. The pinky rings and the sweat, it's too much. I actually just recently moved. I moved to West Hollywood, if you're not familiar. uh, It's a very Italian neighborhood. (laughs) Just a bunch of Italian guys going around kissing each other. They they all look like me, so I'm like, ah, nice. We're doing that. We're kissing that guy. (laughs) All right, that's all I got for this. Wow, brilliant, beautiful, a complete work of art. 
58 seconds great. of absolute tying it all together and great jokes. That's fucking awesome, Spencer. Welcome to the show. We're happy to have you. How long have you been doing stand-up? Uh, almost seven years. Awesome. Where are you from? Alaska. Wow. How long have you been in L.A.? About a year. That is awesome, man. What part of Alaska? Anchorage, the main part. My goodness gracious. What's it like up there? It's cold. A lot of yeah. mountains. Yeah. You ever go to the uh, Charlie's or whatever it's called? The one Choku with, Charlie's? Yeah. yeah. I, I did comedy up there the, with the underwear wor- room and yeah, yeah, yeah. They got like a bunch of... I, I, I moved a little bit after I was like 21, so I didn't go there a lot. But it's kind of a shitty bar. <laughs> oh, yeah. I mean, well, what, that was the only like place a, yeah, to go yeah, it's to. It's like a dirt bar. <laughs> Tell All us other, more about Alaska. Place, Ice fishing? fishing? Like, what, what were you into? Oh, um, fishing, normal shit. I used to go to a small native village with my uncle. What was that like? Uh, they hated white people, so it was fun. Did you guys drink together? Do I lost? No, what we, are we, we talking would, about? We'd go to like a camp on a river and just kill fish and eat them. And you would do it with the natives? No. no, no. Oh, you would hope to not run into natives? They just didn't really talk to us. Are they violent? Oh, are they? They were around and they would see you. Yeah. How my, do you? Know? Uh, my uncle lived there. He, he did a, like. A oh, he youth, lived there full youth time. detention. Can these Native Americans get violent towards white people? They're Alaskan natives. Yeah, they're. Oh. Native it's Native different. They're, what they, is that? They look, they look different. Just natives. Yeah, I wouldn't really consider. Did them. they have igloos? Confused. I never saw an igloo. They got like shacks. Fuck shacks. Some fuck shacks. Yeah, wow. a lot of fuck shacks. That's incredible. Uh, what else about Alaska? I really don't know much that much about. I know this. There's a lot of salmon there. Alaskan natives. What? What's that? <laughs> they got big cheeks. You know oh, the craziest so thing? Like Eskimos? Know. Yeah. They're thicker. And oh, they're darker. Eskimos. Yeah, they're Eskimos. Oh, say that. The craziest uh, thing about Alaska, I thought, was like uh, would do comedy, you know, two shows, whatever, and then it's like two in the morning would come out, and it's just sunlight. It's just like, and there's no, you don't want to go back to your hotel. You don't want to do anything except like, hey, this is still daylight. It's really right. fucked up. The, the whole You're like, it's daylight outside. I should be sleeping right now. Right. Yeah. I was, bo- I was born there, so I never really realized it until I moved here. <laughs> like I moved out of the, out of Alaska. Eskimos. But I realized like people can't drink outside of Alaska because they all. They'll get the shit face at like 11.30 and then pass yeah. out. Well, they all have drinking problems. What's the name brand of those coats that those... Uh, parkas? You thinking of Parkas? Yeah. Oh, that those Eskimo people I don't think wearing. It's, yeah, I think Starter it's jackets. Type. Starter jacket? North <laughs> face. <laughs> North face. It's a bubble jacket. <laughs> I think they're called... They're made out of like seal and shit. Oh, for real? Oh, they, and they skin them they sell? Yeah. Did you ever club a seal? No. We're not allowed to as white people. Only, only natives, they are? Only natives can kill seals. Have you ever seen a native kill a seal? No, not in like person, on video. Huh. Watch a lot of that. Hmm. Oh, there we go. We have some actual audio coming in from Alaska right now. Oh, are, Jesus. Are they, I've never seen an Eskimo. Are they huge people? No. Oh. They're like, I don't know. Did you ever height. see a bear up there? Yeah. You've seen bears? Oh, yeah. Tons of bears. What Terrifying. was that like? Would, would they ever attack you? Um, I was camping one time and a bear came through the camp. How about a jungle bird? Have you ever seen a jungle bird? <laughs> What's a jungle bird? <laughs> <laughs> I just realized we haven't heard the bear for so long. Yeah, <laughs> that's incredible. Have you ever seen a frog up there? I think so. You think so? I don't know. It probably wasn't. <laughs> does, that, does, that, does that noise ring a bell? It sounds familiar. Okay. How about a, uh, how about a body bag? You just asking me questions. Okay. <laughs> oh, what's velvet? What's that? What's that one? Have you have you ever seen a velvet? This is beautiful. What is that? Velvet? <laughs> oh my god. There's things on the soundboard we've never now, this heard. This is what before. happens when you follow a guy with a belly button ring, you run out of shit to talk about. No, you're amazing, Spencer. No, this is super interesting. So tell us more about your life. What have you uh, what do you do for work? What have you how you've you made money in the past? I was just doing comedy and then quarantine oh, hit, so now Fuck just got unemployment. So for that So stop. how long ago you a year, but like when exactly did you move here? I moved here almost a year ago, July in July. Right. So were things things were going good? Yeah, I was doing all right. I was doing better before I moved here. You had to kind of start right. over here. Right. And uh, and this COVID hits, and I mean, it yeah. just must be a crushing blow, huh? I mean, money wise, I, I make more money being unemployed. I okay. mean, b- when I before I moved here, I was doing well. I was doing like theaters and shit with people. Right. And then I moved here, and you got to start over. Right. And you're not really doing that much, so I wasn't making much. So money. you're making more on unemployment. I was. It's over now. Oh, it's over? Mm-hmm. It ended July 31st for you. Well, they changed it. They made it like what? Like 
like a percentage now. Instead or of 600, it's 200 now yeah. extra. Oh, I'm not getting that. I got to talk to somebody. Yeah, you they gotta just, get they just switched me over like a hundred bucks, which they haven't given. It me. is pretty <laughs> crazy though. I like my my girlfriend hasn't had a job in a while, and she's making so much money now. Yeah, it's something <laughs> that Americans never seem to complain about is uh, well, the amount of unemployment money that it they is get. our money, right? They tax us from our paychecks and then give it back to us. Right, Absolutely. it's also super rich people's money that pay yeah, a lot more taxes comes. than people money. that <laughs> barely <laughs> make. It's not a lot of the money. rich. I can't get on the unemployment day. <laughs> Why? I don't know. They denied my claim. Because she used to work for Viacom, which is a uh, decrepit, decrepit company that barely Venmo pays its employees and scams kids that they get to write and perform for them. And then they eventually hire. They spend more money on lawyers to not have to pay people than actually paying the people that deserve and it. And Snapchat series. Mm-hmm. Remember they were doing that? Oh, yeah. Oh, Terrible. Oh, yeah, I was oh, yeah. a part of one. When we tried oh, to get shit. one, the niggas was like, you wasn't good enough. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> Via we, we we lost. We went into pitch a Snapchat show, and uh, the night before we did an Armenian kid's birthday party and posted it on social media. And they saw the video before we went into the meeting, and we knew when they asked us what that was all about that we didn't get the show that we were about to pitch. Yeah, we, we can't be on Snapchat. <laughs> Your Snapchat series because, wow, whatever. Back to you, man. You guys got gangbangers out there? Yeah, That's some oh. Owens. Huh? We got some Owens. Oh, for yeah, yeah, yeah. them motherfuckers are dangerous, dude. Yeah. A, lot of, a lot of people think Alaska is just white people. It's not. Do you wow. have any hobbies or special skills or talents or anything like that? Just Fun facts about you? Just make entertaining shit. Other than that, I mean, not really. No, I mean nothing. Like I used to collect baseball cards. I uh, I uh, wrestled in high school. I'm currently a semi-pro golfer. I'm learning how to. I'm getting my pilot's license. I uh, I um, you know. He's like, Italian. What's yours? Yes, I'm very Italian, <laughs> and I'm gay, Great. and I loved that joke because it made complete sense to totally. me. Totally. Uh, but like anything, any hobbies other than comedy or making very entertaining stuff. Do you edit? Yeah. No, that's not what I'm asking. Anything out of the entertainment industry. (laughs) Fucking not since I moved here, because you got to fucking work at it. How about in the past? No, I guess I I golf. You know, you golf. Have you ever played Tiddly Winks? I did some airsofting. That was fun. Say that again? Airsofting, you ever done that? Yeah, like paintball? It's kind of like paintball, little BBs. Okay. Almost got into a fight with some Mexican kids. Tell us about that. I was hanging out with a Venezuelan guy, and he started cussing at them in uh, Spanish. Yeah. Which was fun. Mm. I never hang out with my Venezuelan friends when there's Mexicans around. <laughs> I, there, I know. They is cut. there anything in your refrigerator that you're excited to go home and eat? That's a great question. <laughs> no, because of fucking quarantine. I got all sick because of quarantine. I got nothing. I'm, I'm boring. Damn. I'm boring right now. I don't do shit. Do you I, have a refrigerator? I do. I, it's empty? Uh, it's got like a, a, some chicken and spinach in it. When was the last time you had French toast crunch? Fucking years ago. I know a guy. I think Mitch wants you to look at your phone. <laughs> oh, wow. Thank you that for that heads up. Thing Boy, I've fucking seen. really letting the, uh, <laughs> the outside in. Oh, is there any. Ch- do you know anything about collecting jugs of piss? Oh, I fucking knew it. <laughs> I figured he was going to talk about it. So <laughs> Thank you, Mitch. Wow. That, that, that's a good story. This no, seems to be this. the. Uh, you're saving the, this. Exactly the question I was asking about. I'm just was, happy Mitch didn't get it because he fucking lies about it. So I used to live with Mitch, uh, uh-huh. big fat guy. Uh, yeah, you yeah. had on a At yeah. Mitch Burrow on social media. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Tell us about this. Um, so I used to live with him, and then he, uh, he had this terrible girlfriend he lived with, mm-hmm. and then they had these lesbian chicks stay over, mm-hmm. and they were in the living room. No, it was, yeah, it was fine, that they, but they were fucking really loud in the living room. The lesbians were. Yeah. yeah. And I had to pee. And I didn't want to be rude and interrupt them, so there was no way to get to the bathroom without walking right past them. So I peed in a jug in oh. my room. Three. I peed in one jug. Now, see, this is a fucking lie. I peed in three one jugs. jug one time. Three jugs. How did, you have all these, came into my room. how did you have these three jugs just laying in your room? I had one jug that it was a water jug that I drank all the water of. What, how big of a jug? Like, 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 what like is a, a jug, jug to you? Well, like You're from gallon. Alaska. I picture a jug. It's got three being. X's on it. You hold it over your shoulder. <laughs> Like a Winnie the Pooh jug. Yeah, you drink it. You like pee, a honey banjo, jug. You pee right into it. It's we fantastic. call that a honey jug. Well, why wouldn't you just be like, hey, this is my house. 
Hey, I'm going to piss. You know, who cares? Just, hey, I, I man, coming rude. through, Lesbos. <laughs> yeah, I didn't want to be rude. Kick them to the fucking Kick side. Rude. As they they might be like. Hey. Were they hot lesbians? They weren't that hot. No. Oh, we're not. Oh hell yeah. no. Yeah, most lesbians aren't. God, so like, how they were? Ha- you said they were having loud sex. It was. L- I don't think they knew I was home. It was loud. Wait, God. would you? They think they had like strap-ons on or something? Like, how does lesbians yeah. get that loud? I always picture lesbian sex being quite oh, quiet. No, no. no. Trying to think about if I heard one or two voices, whether or not. Like did you watch there? Did not. you like spy? Because I would no, be spying. No, I, I didn't want to. Oh. I didn't want to. Well, we like know how, you would spy, right? Of course. Yes. I was kind of a guest. <laughs> he was, I was he'd a be guest in the middle the of the living room, just fucking stroking, how? spying and stroking. I don't, don't want to be rude coming out there jerking off to rude, my, it's my your friends, fucking house. lesbians having sex. <laughs> when you say loud, cool. like, 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 give us an example, like how loud? Like, do it in the mic. I'm not gonna do it in the mic, but it was it was loud enough to know. Was it like a motorcycle or was it like an e-bike? I'm auditory. What the fuck is that? Stop that, whatever that is. It was like that? <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. That made me want to pee in a I'm almost there. <laughs> I'm almost there. It was, nice. yeah, it was, it was, it was like that? Yeah. Save it Do for it the again. mostly sorry pod, Joel. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like this? Less, less valley girl. More like, less valley girl, more like... Uh, Oh, yeah. What were these oh, girls? Oh, these, were, Mitch these were Alaskan the girls? Room. No, it was Seattle when I lived with Mitch. Oh, Seattle oh, bitches. Seattle lesbians. Uh, oh, yeah. Right. Oh, yeah. They have feet that look like feel a liar. Okay. Let's wind down a little bit. Let's all take a breath. So, you filled this jug of piss? I pissed it all. Yeah. I pissed in it one time. Pissed in it one time? Yeah. Was it a full jug? No, it was a gallon jug. I couldn't piss a gallon. What else? Did you <laughs> shit in it? I shit next to it, but I cleaned that up. Mitch never oh saw it. Oh, my goodness. This is incredible. <laughs> so how many how many jugs Actually, were Actually, we there? weren't allowed to shit in the house because of his crazy girlfriend. I was one of the... We had to go down. It was a nice apartment. We had to go to a different part of the building to shit. Yeah. Because the, she said that you guys shit too much or something? No, she just didn't like the smell of shit in a bathroom. But she would allow two Seattle lesbians to fuck in her living room? Yeah. Oh, come on. What the fuck? Bullshit. It's and wrong then I'm, getting, with you, I'm in fellas. trouble because I got to pee in a jug. Wow. I mean, Mitch clearly still wears the clothes that the lesbians <laughs> left at his house. <laughs> <laughs> this is not the same place that Mitch lives in now, right? Like, no. no. Mitch doesn't live in Seattle right now. No. <laughs> no. Oh, <it's> Seattle. <laughs> I thought they were Seattle girls. I thought you guys drove down here every Monday just to be team players. Um, This is fucking awesome. Such compelling interviews on this episode of Kill Tony. Every single fucking person. The first guy was a little bit worried about it, and he's like, check this out. (laughs) Shows us that belly button (laughs) piercing covered in hair. Do you have any piercings or tattoos? Are you fucking kidding me? You think this guy could possibly have (laughs) anything? I I could see him having a little nipple ring or something like that. Yeah, right. I actually have a jewelry phobia. So. A, ju- a Jew yeah, phobia? Like, no, yeah, both. <laughs> Jewelry. Wow. You get a Jew with some piercings, I'm out of there. Good Lord, that is incredible. So what'd you end up doing with this jug of piss? Well, I forgot about it, and then Mitch stormed into my room when I wasn't home, and he comes up to me, and he goes, hey, what's in this jug? <laughs> oh, shit. And I tried to lie. I go, it's, it's uh, apple cider, I think. <laughs> he totally dr- I immediately called my bluff. <laughs> He's like, he's Mitch like, said that he told him to drink. He goes, drink some of it. And I go, it's piss. I'm not drinking that. <laughs> wow. And then he's like, why the fuck do you have a jug of piss? And then I try to explain the lesbians. And then. How yeah. long do you think the jug was there until Mitch found <laughs> it? Probably a day. <laughs> <laughs> I think it was a day. Okay, guys, that has nothing to do with this. I mean, <laughs> how Jesus long? Jesus Christ. I think it was it's a like, day. A day. Couldn't have been more than a day. A day? Yeah. Jesus, Howard Hughes over here. I probably like went just to work. Keeping I think, jugs of piss everywhere. I, think I probably went to work and then I came home and. Fucking Detective Mitch over there was like, "What well, do you have piss in your room? Why fuck was he yeah. in your room, by the way? Who could, that's yeah, a great question, Yeah, what the fuck Mitch? were you doing in his room? That's creepy. <laughs> 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 he said he had to take a piss. Unbelievable. So much fun, Spencer. Unbelievable set. I mean, in, in 60 seconds, you had multiple jokes, multiple callbacks, tied it all together. Unfucking believable Probably one of the best 60 second sets we've seen here in absolutely forever. Very Very impressive. Thank you so much for coming by. Spencer O'Neill, everybody. Wow. What an episode. Very, very, very compelling show this evening. Having fun here. Well, I don't know what you guys think, but I think there's only one way to put a little ribbon on this little puppy pie that we call an episode of Kill Tony, and we're about to do it right now. This next comedian, ladies and gentlemen, 
one of the true legends of the show, a guy who uh, I believe he's awake, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, he is uh, originally from Chicago, a former improv uh, black belt over at Second City, and started stand-up very, very recently and has been a regular on the show for uh, quite a few months now. I absolutely love him with all of my heart. This is a guy that I truly care deeply about and absolutely love. One of my favorite comedians, one of the top young rising comedians in the world. Ladies and gentlemen. Oh, wait, you know what? Actually, here, let me put it to you this way. We've seen this guy on the show a couple times before. Here he is for his return. It's the one and only Injured Dice Clay, everyone. Here he is. (laughs) It's Injured Dice Clay. Here he is. Little boy blue, a 2.8 into the breathalyzer after breaking into the liquor cabinet. Now he has permanent brain damage. Oh! <laughs> Jack be nimble, Jack be quick, Jack squeeze showing off. Oh! <laughs> oh, Mother Hubbard went to a cupboard to hide from her armed intruder. He stole her wheelchair and her meds. This dude cannot be ruder. Oh! <laughs> Little Miss Mummy. I have like six more. Keep going. That's fine. You can go forever. Little Miss Muffin blew in her trumpet in the Kill Tony band. She's super stuck up. It treats me like dirt because I cannot stand. I think you forgot something there at the end of that one. Oh, okay, go ahead. Humpty Dumpty son of a war. He was trying to cross the border to get his baby out of a cage. Oh! <laughs> there was a disabled lady who lived in the shoe. After four years of Trump, she lives in the sandal. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Jack and Jim went up a hill. Obviously, they can't use stairs in sensitive. Oh! <laughs> Mary, Mary, quite and <laughs> You misdiagnosed me. You made my life a nightmare. (laughs) 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 Little Bo Peep lost her sheep and no Obamacare. Now she deadpans in the webcam, webcams in her underwear. (laughs) Says. Is there more? No. Okay. <laughs> Injured Dice Clay. Hey, love is. It's what I've got. Yes. Injured. So good to have you back on the show. I'm glad to be alive. <laughs> uh, you are Injured Dice Clay. You are yeah. Andrew Dice Clay's uh, handy. Have brother. Half brother, injured. Half brother, second cousin, twice removed. Uh, oh, <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> Have you ever talked with your half brother, second cousin, twice removed, uh, Andrew Dice Clay before? I am left him messages asking for money, and he does not return my calls. Oh, wow, it's <laughs> incredible. I'm wondering if maybe like uh, 
he would help you if you needed it, maybe with like a medical procedure. What type of uh, what what's your blood type? Um, it is. Um, it's called. There's only a couple types. I'm really setting you up for one here if you think about it. Um, I mean, we have different sense of humor, <laughs> Tony. So really, I have no idea where you're leading me. Jeremiah, where is he going with this one? I think he wanted you to say your blood type is O. It's O. Oh. It's a All very right, let's go back to one. Okay, back to one. Uh, you know, uh, your half brother could probably help you with some type of medical uh, transplant or procedure if you ever need. What type of blood type do you have? Well, it's my <laughs> <laughs> At this point, you should just say A positive, and we can move on. <laughs> I have AIDS. <laughs> oh, there you go. Nailed it. Um, he really talked like that. Dice? Oh, me? Yeah. Oh, okay. oh, okay. I thought he was... Oh. No, Tony. Yeah. You gave so much exposition about me, but you didn't tell him my bailiff. He has a So he's like... Oh! Well, look now, at this <laughs> insensitive <laughs> motherfucker. He saw he's Blank a, Man. What? You see the movie Blank Man? Oh, yeah. Never mind. Is Blank Man ALS? Uh... He's on the spectrum like yeah, yeah. me. <laughs> oh, spectrum has the worst funny. Wi-Fi right now. It's, oh, in it's and the out. worst. Spectrum is horrible. I hate being on the spectrum. Yeah, it's weird. Like, they have my monopoly. Mm -hmm. Why can't we choose between six cable and internet company? That's true. You get one motherfucker to come to your house who doesn't know shit. And your shit's slow unless you're a rocket scientist for the internet. That's absolutely true. Yeah. I mean, I think we should have more options. I do, too. Sherbert? <laughs> Sherbert? Amazon should, should do internet. Absolutely. I mean, Amazon, on, Amazon should just do everything. Yeah. yeah. Amazon should make our water, send us things. It's, they should have Christmas. You put a thing out. It's called progress. Mm -hmm. The conjun was mentioned before. The steam mention, the computer chip, and now Amazon. Yeah. Sure, people are getting super rich, but you know what? When you can't walk and you can order three pairs of sneakers or heavy socks. <laughs> um, <laughs> Off of Amazon and get them to do two days. That's cool as fuck. Now, Andrew Dice Clay famously was the first comedian to sell out Madison Square Garden in New York, New York. Uh, yeah. You are injured, Dice Clay. What's yeah. your favorite performance that you've ever given? Oh, without a doubt, my favorite is at the Mayo Clinic. <laughs> oh, you remember me? Oh, you sick kids. Oh, shout out to all the dead eight-year-olds from leukemia. Boom, boom. <laughs> yeah. That's beautiful. So the Mayo Clinic. Yeah, Mayo Clinic, Cedar Sinai, all of them. I play all the hottest hospitals. We can't talk about them. We can't. We got to stop saying Mayo Clinic. Red Band's getting hungry over here. Yeah, because I eat mayo. Uh, do you? Do you have any updates on your uh, Easter Seals video? Because I know a few years ago we were talking about the. Yeah. Yeah. Here was the update. <laughs> I guess moment. <laughs> Here's the update. I guess <laughs> Let him talk, man. Why are no, you being rude? I'm not, I'm not stopping him from um, talking. Pardon me, sir. We've just been. Is it Jamar? Yes. Yeah. I have. Um, Jamar's trying to figure out what's wrong with you still. He doesn't know what well, ALS is. No. Well, Tony, try filling he, in your guests. Uh, I mean. Do I, you need the glasses? 
No. Yeah, I'm injured, that is playing. <laughs> he's I'm in character. Oh, all oh, right, 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 right. The bit. He's, in, he's playing a character of a dice clay like character that's injured, and the actual man playing the character has a debilitating, <laughs> uncurable, untreatable disease. <laughs> I'm like, this shit is layered than a motherfucker. Oh, yeah, it really is. Dude, I get more diversity jobs than you. (laughs) Uh -uh, I'm on three shows that start with black. Wow. Motherfucker. Dude, man, networks are designing themselves around people who are all fucked up because they got. (laughs) What? (laughs) What? What was the last one? Man, part? he doing that shit on purpose, oh, man. No, I am. It's called PBA. I have laughing crying disease. Yeah, it's, it's like, like what that Joker had in the movie where he can't stop yeah. laughing. So oh. You doing? Dude, I'm on. Um, whoa, yeah. whoa, whoa. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. Jamar, it's Michael Lair, everybody. He about, is he about to walk? Jamar, where are you from? Compton. All right, I'm from Queens, motherfucker. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> right, I don't okay, play. I believe you. You fucked no, up. <laughs> but you said, oh, he's doing this shit on purpose. No, Michael. No, one, Michael, no. no. Don't Tony, no. Tony, one, I'm the oldest person in this building. You are? <laughs> one. <laughs> oh, I no, like I him, though. Fun. But two, I am... Oh, Whoa. Whoa. I, I don't have no fucks to give. So if anyone says I'd be faking it, oh shit. I Take stood, his chair. I stood up so I'm not proving my point. Yeah, I was going to say, I like told him. you that you were faking it, and then you... You and, just and stood great up. posture, by the way. I don't think yeah. I've ever seen anyone have such. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I mean, you're standing. It is incredible. Did you get one of those bra- back brace things off Instagram? <laughs> and they've been advertising. Yeah. Like, my girlfriend just got that today, and it has like her tits like cut out. It's just like. Uh, does it really my, work? No, it's just ridiculous. Her no, my copper farb. What? Copper farb. Copper farb. Bread farb. Oh yeah. Sponsors my copper. Thing I just heard of. Why are you guys so confused? <laughs> Jeremiah, you need to translate. <laughs> Listen, uh, everything going to be Ari, Tony. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, Michael just talking to talk. He's not walking to walk, all right? He's, he's just saying some things. He's flexing on Jamar because Jamar questioned his disability. He's really disabled. What's going on here? He's going to sit down momentarily because his legs are about to give out. But he's happy he did the injured dice clay bit, but he's also upset that Jamar didn't understand that he was doing a character and that his real person had ALS. So it was a very complex problem that was facing him. Is that pretty much sum up how you're feeling right now, Michael? (laughs) 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 Everything gonna be aye, Tony. Lord have mercy. (laughs) Lord have mercy. Oh, murder, she wrote. Hey, hey, I have a reggae joke. Can I see if it works? Absolutely. So what's the deal with reggae? This is the only genre where they never have to make new songs. Murder, <laughs> she wrote. Hey, hey, murder, she wrote. I've been dancing to that shit since eighth grade. <laughs> Jamar, Jamar, that was definitely a joke. Targeted towards black people more than white. So what did you think? What? <laughs> fair, fair, fair play. Yeah. You hate me because of my disease. I don't hate you, man. That ain't fair, is it? You're doing white voice, I mean. <laughs> No, 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 no. He's always you had a are. white voice. That's like that's I went his to thing. I went to college and I fuck a lot of white women. That's true. He does. Lower your pitch and respect me. Lower, what? lower your pitch and respect Michael Lara. Boom, boom, oh. boom, boom. Oh. And I grew up watching Def Jam, so I speak at a certain pitch. I feel you sound like um. 
the deaf team tag deaf Tim guy who what's oh that's a headband on the ground yeah. That's my assistant. I think that you're hilarious. I think you are too, and it's a pleasure to meet you. And this show tonight was straight bananas awesome. I no agree. Doubt. I agree. No and there's doubt. no better way to fucking end it than with you. You're the baddest ass of them all. You can sit down. I feel like uh No, um I need to air out my ass more <laughs> <than> <laughs> The great Michael Lair, everybody. Everything he does is at MichaelLairComedy.com and on social media at Michael Lair Comedy. Here comes tonight's drawing from the great Ryan J. E. Belt. There it is. Oh, this Whoa. looks like a watercolor. Look at that. There's, wow. a, there's a big snake there. There's a grassy knoll. There's a, uh, a cat. That's Red Band. Oh, it's a snake on a rope. Oh. There we go. Rope snake. That's beautiful. Look at that. Incredible. The great Jamar Neighbors was with us this entire episode. He's got specials and albums everywhere. Tell the people where they can find him. Thank you, Tony. Hey, man. Uh, I'm doing a show out of my apartment September 6th. Y'all got to come and, and, and be on it and be a part of the audience. Tony's going to be on it. Yeah. Um, Jeremiah's going to be on it. Red Band's going to be on it. Um, thank you, guys. Absolutely. And if you can see Jamar live, please check it out, man. It's the most one of the most unique live shows uh, you'll ever see. Without a Hilarious. doubt, this guy's. This is another one of those guys that's going to be one of the biggest in the world one day, and you're going to say that you know him from Kill Tony because you're a real fucking comedy fan. I guarantee you that this guy will be recognized as one of the best in the world by everyone one day. Uh, Thank you to David Deary uh, for helping us out so much. He's at MF David Deary on uh, social media. Hey, look at Skeeter over there. Believe it or not, people, it was Jeremiah Watkins the whole time. There's his Venmo. You know what that is. Venmo at Jeremiah Watkins. Why don't you Watkins. tell them about the art and stuff that you make, the creative endeavors that you do, Jeremiah, instead of holding up the Venmo thing? Why don't you tell them about that? Your podcast, your social I media. I mean, the I put out a, a new Jeremiah Wonders Weekly, and I feel like I'm doing something uh, unique and creative you on are. there. And uh, I would really appreciate if you go over to youtube.com slash Jeremiah Watkins and check it out. If you have never seen it or maybe you haven't seen it in a long time, doing a lot of different new stuff, please check a it out. A lot of fun stuff going on over there. If you like characters and silly shit and a bunch of fun laughs and great, great character work and improvisation, that's all happening over there. Yeah, check out the shit with Adam Ray that you did a couple decades ago ago it was amazing incredible yeah, th yeah there's uh, a bunch of uh dr phil episodes with adam ray there's a trump episode that's out that i'd a like you to check out and a then, uh, lot of the characters that became famous on kill tony are happening over at jeremiah wonders uh ladies and gentlemen believe it or not i know this is going to be hard to believe but kelsey all night i just got word that that was actually jet ski jesse johnson everybody <laughs> I can't even believe it. I don't see the resemblance. Oh, there it is. I know that trumpet swing. Nothing but home runs from Jetski Johnson, as always. <laughs> Jetski, tell us what else is going on in the world. Uh, follow me on social media at Jetski Johnson. See me on Jeremiah Wonders. Absolutely <laughs> doodly. Isn't that the truth? Oh, my goodness. Wait a second. Hold on. That's not Rocco. That's Chroma Chris. Wow, that's incredible. What do you think about tonight's episode? You made a classic one tonight, Tony. <laughs> Sorry that these puns are a little dreadful, Tony. Whoa! Oh, dude. <laughs> He's Chroma Chris on everything social media. He's part of the Baby Boys. He makes music. He does fun things. He's everywhere. We love him. And uh, this beautiful young lady back here, I know what you're thinking. Is that... Uh, is that... Uh, Amy Winehouse's corpse? No! It was actually Joel Berg the whole time. Yeah. Spoiler alert. It was Joel Jimenez of the Mostly Sorry podcast and Mostly Sorry on social media. What else, Joel? That's it. Love you guys. Peace. There's a bunch of new Tony Hinchcliffe merch over at TonyHinchcliffe.com. There's a bunch of stuff. Shower curtains, T-shirts, skateboards. You it's got all shower happening. curtains? It's all happening <laughs> over at TonyHinchcliffe.com. It's unbelievable. Why not look at my face? 
while in your shower scrubbing up. I would love to see that. And check out DeathSquad.tv. Also a lot of new merch there for virtual red band and loophole and all that stuff is at DeathSquad.tv. I have a Patreon project that covers everything about roasting, its entire history, how to do it, roast battles, roasters, everything over there. I interview members of the writing staff and famous roast performers of the past, and that's all at patreon.com slash Hinchcliffe. This was another episode of Kill Tony, the formerly known as the number one live podcast in the world because we used to have a live audience. But now we do this. So there you go. We'll see you next week. Bye, guys.